What up, YouTube? Nate here from Thrift Dweller, and today on the channel, actually, this is not for Thrift Dweller, this is for Nate's Reviews. How are you? I've missed you. Today on the channel, we're finally going to be unboxing this Diamond Select Domino Statue. I, uh, if you followed the channel, you'd have already seen that I've unboxed uh, Cable and Deadpool, both of which I was really impressed with. Low expectations for the third part of that triad, Miss Domino over here. She's a fully resin statue and is typical with diamonds like toys. Very economical box. You don't get that gigantic shipper box like you get with the uh, first four figures or whatever. Temper your expectations for the price point. This one cost me about $170 all in Canadian at my local comic book store. This one limited to 3,000 pieces. And again, this one sculpted by Jean St. John. But yeah, we got to get through this. We got to open it up and finish this, finish this series over here. What does it say at the bottom actually? Oh yeah, I'll turn it over here. It gives you the actual like edition number, serial number of this statue. What is that, 800 and something? And as in the other boxes, you have the uh, certificate of authenticity, I guess. I have 875 out of 3,000. smaller than I thought she would look. Alright, let's do this. I'll show you that really quick on the bottom. Number 875 out of 3000. So after how many months now of having the statue in my possession, I'm actually happy I get to take it out of the box and look at it in person. So the first thing I looked at was the portrait. I think the camera's gonna pick it up very well, but in person when I'm looking at the portrait, I do notice some of the undercoating I guess the darker paint is kind of showing through uh, the white parts and it might look a little rough but I mean when you step back a little bit it really doesn't matter one thing I did also kind of notice was the treatment of the hair here maybe because I'm so used to comic book type hair where the hair is nice and flowing and smooth to me this hair looks very sculpted if that makes sense to anybody very rough however when I'm comparing her face in person and comparing it to the box it looks like it's a little bit different like maybe they used a, a prototype I guess for the box to get the promotional pictures, but in person, I think it looks a lot better, actually, where on the box she looks maybe Michael Jackson-esque. In person, she looks a lot more appealing. Moving away from the statue, taking an overall look and soaking it in, it's not that bad, actually. I think overall, as a complete piece, it's very nice. Indicative of Jean St. John, I guess. A lot of attention to detail, a lot of craftsmanship. Uh, <laughs> True to the Liefeld style, wherever there's an open thigh, there's a pouch. Wherever there's an open ankle, there's a buckle and a belt. The knife on her ankle there, the shin guard, the holster for her weapons. I guess she has two holsters there. Yeah, one on the hip and one on the leg. Looking at the beautiful view of the Nagas, you can see the nice seam work sculpted into the statue. And even looking closer, like at the hands, you can see the knuckles that have nice sculpting to it. The shoulder pads, the knee pads, the elbow pads, the soles of the boots. At this price point, I appreciate that very, very much. The paint application overall as a whole is not too bad. I like the, the hints of the metallics in there. Even looking at the treatment of the rock and that metal thing by her foot there, very nice attention to detail in the paint application there. One thing I did notice, however, when I was trying to capture B-roll of this statue overall, I couldn't really get a good angle of her face. When I thought I got a good overall position for the camera, her face is obstructed by her left arm. Maybe this was a prototype when they took the promotional pictures. Noticeably, her arm is a lot lower on the box. And when you look at it in person, her left arm and that admittedly very beautifully sculpted gun, it obscures her face. And it got me thinking, like, as an overall standalone statue, it might not make sense to buy this. Putting it on the shelf by itself, it's not that attractive and it looks almost out of place. However, I think the true beauty and the true design of this statue really comes alive when you marry it when you complete it, when you put it together with her bigger brothers, Cable and Deadpool. Mwah! I think Domino was such a nice complimentary piece overall and really does help to complete the scene. She kind of takes up that negative space on the lower half when you put this all together. I mean, together, the bases all kind of match up with their accessories, the tone of the paint, the sculpt work. Just really helps to, to bring it all together and really makes it feel like a cohesive piece. Would I recommend somebody buy Domino by herself? No. And personally, I only bought it because I thought, why the heck not? I already got Cable and I already got Deadpool, but I was very surprised when I put it all together how appealing it was to me and how very satisfied I felt at the end of the day. I'm happy that I bought it. 
but as a completed cohesive unit, I think this looks deadly at this price point. Really, man, you can't go wrong. I would recommend getting it if you have Cable and Deadpool. However, since I'm so late to reviewing the statue anyways, this might not be news that you can use anymore. I'm sure you can find it maybe on the secondary market. Sorry, that was my phone. So, standing O for Jean St. John, beautifully sculpted pieces. So thank you very much for checking out the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for sticking in there, I guess, and better late than ever to kind of finish this series and this run and give a closure to the entire set. I really should script this out. It's very hard to do it freestyle. Anyways, this is Nate from Nate's Reviews. New name of the channel to be determined. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for any new names for my channel. Uh, yeah, take care, everybody. Uh, be safe out there. And we will get through this. COVID-19, I mean. Peace.